nice to make like a lot of presents, like my parents like homemade presents. Actually, my mom remembered it, but I guess I made, I took a toy car and I took the legs from like one of my other toys and it had it coming out from under the car. And then there was like a little word bubble that said like, be in a minute, honey. It was like for my dad or my mom, I don't remember even who it was for, but yeah, I would like just do stuff like that. Come here, buddy. Uh, this is Juan. He likes art too. No, he doesn't care at all. He likes outside, that's all he cares about. That's what I thought I wanted to be was like a starving artist, you know? And I think I was gonna, I was like gonna go to art school, I think, at one point, but when I learned that it was like all computers and actual classes of other things other than art, you know, I just wanted to paint pictures and be an artist, you know? Uh, I painted Starry Night in seventh grade and it won like a ribbon or something. Like right now I like clay, I guess. But it's just like, you know, it's all, everything kind of goes through phases, you know, you'll, I'll get really psyched on sculpting and then I'll try, and then I'll want to paint pictures. And I guess it helps whatever you have around too. You really need to have all your mediums uh, near you so that when you just want to do something, you can just grab it and go. But so this was a guy's head and then I, I already made a, a mold and everything. So I didn't need it anymore. Oh, here's the top of it. It was kind of baldy. Now I'll, I'll use all this stuff for like the inside of a new one, you know, like because it takes a lot of clay sometimes just to like build a form up. And then this clay never dries. But that's why it's really good too, because it's just constantly ready to go. The foundry is like where, you t where I take uh, the art. So like I make a sculpture, I have a mold made of it, and then you turn that mold into wax, and then there's a wax version of this, and then you like, you're like, oh, this got messed up, so you kind of touch up the wax. They take the wax and cover it um, in this like plaster stuff and then uh, melt the wax out and then pour the metal in and then they smash out the surroundings and then the pieces inside and then you, you know, touch it up, polish it, you can patina it or whatever. Um, I just did normal metal color mostly and so a little bit are shiny. Sometimes too, it's like, you know, an idea is one thing, but like actually trying to make it into a reality it completely changes everything, you know, like, like this kind of is just uh, something that was going on, but then it turned into a lot of other stuff too. The cool thing about art is that it could be really meaningful to someone and completely pointless to someone else, you know, like that's good. And especially if there is like a message that's trying to be put on you, then you and then you can't get your own meaning. You're like, oh, well, I would have liked that. Oh, it's the other thing where it's like, you see a piece of art, and then there's a paragraph next to it about why you should like it. That's annoying too. Well, boredom is like you know the, the most luxurious thing ever because that's how you can get ideas. You know, idle time is where you can think and. When you run out of ideas is when you probably just stop doing it, I guess.